You might remember a little Dockers fanatic by the name of Jesse Dart. It was seven years ago when six-year-old Jesse appeared on the footy show and he certainly stole the show. Have a look. You are fantastic. You've become a star. Did you watch the Dockers play last week or did you hear how they went? What did you think? Well, I saw the last quarter because the last two minutes I thought were outstanding. But what I thought outstanding? It was Adelaide's defender, Graham John Knodd, kicking... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Jess? <laughs> Jess, would you like to go to the grand final? Well, it's always been a dream. <laughs> Just gorgeous. And Lisa Fernandez, you are with Jesse this morning, brushing up on your footy knowledge, but also yes, belly. Yes, look how much Jesse's grown up, Trace. <laughs> Jesse's grown up so much and he's completely changed all features. <laughs> Good morning, Peter Bell. Here is Jesse, really, here. I was just joking. Hi, darling. How are you? Very good. He's 13 years old now and he's still a footy expert, Belly. Now, we do want to talk about the big game uh, tomorrow. Treaders has tried to talk up his team, but no, nah, I don't think so, Belly. I don't think so either. It's great to be here with Jesse. I've gone head to head with yeah. Buckley, with yes. Crawford, oh, with I Ben know. Cousins, but now I'm totally out of my depth you because are. the great <laughs> Jesse Dart. I'm going to ask Jesse some questions. Are you nervous being a Fremantle supporter about Port Adelaide? They were pretty impressive last oh. week, Jesse. I'm nervous every week, Belly. Um, any team can win on any given day, and Port Adelaide showed some real class last week, the way they absolutely demolished the Tigers. Um, I am nervous, yes. I reckon we can beat them, though. OK, well, let me ask you, who do Fremantle have to counter at Port yes. Adelaide? Who are the major concerns in the power lineup? There's four for me. Um, at the top of that list is Robbie Gray. He's a very dangerous player and has shown pure class this year. He's one of my top five for the Brownlow. Um, Chad Wingard would be my second most dangerous player on the team. He's a lightning small forward. He's got that X factor about him. Travis Boak, I'd have it third. He's yeah. also yeah. hasn't really maybe stepped up because he hasn't had to this year because they've got Robbie Gray now. And, of course, number four, Jay Schultz. Started off the year in fantastic goal-kicking form. Kicked eight at one stage in a single game. He's a very good player. Did, well, you, did you know all this, Billy? Of course not. <laughs> it's great to be in the presence of professionals like uh, Jesse, of course. But to Port Adelaide, do they have an answer for Nat Fife, the, yeah. uh, the AFL MVP? No. I really don't think. In a short way, no. Because they're... Port Adelaide's midfield is focused on attacking. They're focused on getting the ball themselves. Yeah, I know. They're focused on getting the ball out and focused on getting the ball to their forwards like Shorts, Westhoff, Wingard, Need, Wines, etc. So that's... they certainly got a bit of X factor though, Port Adelaide, haven't they? I mean, you mentioned some of those players. What about the importance of Big Aaron Sanderlands for Fremantle? Sandlands is truly an amazing tower of physicality. The way he goes after, he'll smash Loby. I have no doubt in that. Loby's really developed this year. Smash him? Yeah. He'll, <laughs> he, he's a very good player, Sandlands. And Loby's, no one's in Sandlands' class. Simple as that. Just, just throw out a couple of uh, names to him, Billy. I'm going to throw one. Uh, Ryan Crowley. Crowley will go to Gray, I think, and he'll tag him and he'll do a great job on him, just like he always does every week, week in, week out. He's the most consistent player in our side. So you've gone out on your own there. A lot of people think it'll be Crowley and Boat, but you're saying Gray? I, I say Gray because at the moment his form is so damaging that if we let him just run around and run amok, then we'll be in a very if, bad way. If I hear you say this in the commentary box... I'm, I'm using this material, don't worry. I'm going back to get this tape. What about Alipati Carlisle? Who's yeah. he going to play on? He'll play on Pavlik Carlisle. Um, he's, he's probably the pivotal cog in Port Adelaide's defence. But say, in saying that, though... You don't have I, need, I need to write this down. He hasn't really stepped up again this year. He's one of the Port players who hasn't really gone to the level yeah. with the other players. In saying that, though, he's still a good defender. However, Pavlich, well, a colour will be overmatched in the air when he plays Pavlich. One more name, one more name. Okay, the final name, uh, Michael Walters. Sun Sun Walters. Walters is a killer. I mean, we've seen... He needs to step up due to the no-Ballantyne factor. Yes. Although, it must be said that Ballantyne filled Walters' shoes while Walters was injured. Yeah. Can Walters fill Ballantyne's shoes while Ballas is injured? It's a question <laughs> of, it's on everyone's lips, I'd have to say. Now, Jesse, you're 13. You're at uh, high school at the moment. What do you want to be when you finish school? What, what's your dream job? My dream is to be a sports commentator. That would just be in... OK, well, that'll be time to put Lisa, me out to I don't pasture. Think I should start right. looking for another job when you finish uh, high school. <laughs> Lisa, I don't yes, think Trace? we've ever heard you this speech... Or actually, seen you this speechless before. <laughs> uh, they haven't heard me say so little during a live cross before. <laughs> We're both good between talkers, Jesse and, Jesse and I, yeah. Yeah, look, uh, Jesse, thank you for being here. And, Belly, thanks again. Absolute just pleasure. one last one. I know we're running out of time, but just give us a final score for the semi-final from Belly and from you, Jesse. 
Dockers by 19. I agree. I'll go Dockers by 12, just to be different, because I don't want to just ride his coattails the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trace, so we're here at Benny's, heart of Frio. We're saying go Frio. I'm with uh, the ex-captain of the Fremantle Football Club and Jesse, who is obviously uh, one of the biggest Frio fans. <laughs> and I guess, fingers crossed for Frio on Saturday. Fingers See you crossed, later. guys. Thanks so much. See you soon.